Hi guys, it's Evan and today's video is a chit chat all about New Year's resolutions. So I'm going to tell you guys my personal New Year's resolutions, ways you can kind of keep yourself on track if you do have your own resolutions um, and things like that. So maybe we can help each other out, get a little support system going and just kind of overall positive advice. So let's just get into it. First of all, I wanted to point out it doesn't matter what time of year it is, you can change your life whenever you want. You don't have to wait until a certain date or your birthday or a holiday like New Year's Day. You know, you don't have to wait um, to change your life. You can do it at any time. So let's just throw that out there. But the reason why this video is about New Year's resolutions is because the overwhelming majority of people when they want to dramatically change their life, they choose New Year's because it's like a new year, you're ringing it in right, you have all these goals, all these aspirations, you're like, mm, I'm going to get it done, be fucking successful, I'm going to be doing whatever it is that you want to do with your personal resolution. So I'm going to tell you guys three of my resolutions um, and ways I plan to also kind of keep myself on track and ways that hopefully will help you keep yourself on track as well. So... My personal goals for 2016, real quick, moment of silence, this is my last video of 2015. So, goodbye, goodbye. This year sucked. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but this year for me has been the closest thing to purgatory on earth that I can possibly think of. So, 2016 is going to be a great year. I can feel it in my bones, all kinds of ideas. Um, even something as awesome as having a second channel. Yes, I'm going to be having a second channel. Jesse and I are going to have a vlog channel, which is going to be a bunch of DIYs, showing you guys a bunch of hikes, survival techniques, um, just pretty much everything that doesn't fit under the pagan category. You know, tags, challenges, all that fun stuff so once we get that established I will definitely let you guys know on Facebook Twitter and of course on here so stay tuned for that after the new year um, but anyway back on track my goals for 2016 is number one and I have no problem I have no shame I want to lose weight now I'm six foot three before I got pregnant for those that don't know I have a son he's four um, I got pregnant in early 2011 before I got pregnant, I was 188 pounds, which for somebody my height, for 6'3", a woman who's 6'3", and I have a large body frame, I'm not big boned, I just have, you know, I'm wide shouldered, I have wide hips, I just have a large body frame. Um, the average weight, or the, I guess the proper weight for somebody, uh, a woman who's large framed and of my size, my height, um, is between 169 and 185. So I was only like, what, three pounds? overweight um, before I got pregnant now right now I'm about 230 which is not that bad it's not like a hundred pounds overweight um, but it's pretty overweight enough for me to be like you know I need to get my ass out on a walk I live in Colorado there's absolutely no excuse in this world why I can't go on a hike or go outside or something I mean for Christ's sake we get 360 days of sunshine here okay which lately I've been thinking is a damn lie. But besides the point, so I want to be losing weight, um, not only for me, but for my son. My son, as I said, he's four and he's really active. If you don't have kids, then hang on to your energy because when you do, it will be gone. Um, but I just want to lose weight for him. You know, I want to be more active. I want to take him on a bunch of hikes, show him new stuff too. And I just want to be a healthier person. So that's definitely one of my personal New Year's resolutions for sure. Uh, number two is to quit smoking cigarettes. Yes, I smoke cigarettes. I've smoked cigarettes for about 10 years now. Um, I'm not proud to say that in, at all. It's really kind of disgusting. And I want to stop smoking cigarettes because I'm starting to feel it in my lungs. I used to be able to go for a three-mile parkour-style hike up these mountains the past year has been so stressful for me that I've just been like chain smoking, chain smoking, like <sighs> chain smoking. So that needs to stop completely. Now, I'm not the kind of person where I can be like, okay, January 1st, I'm not having another cigarette as long as I live. I'm not going to bullshit myself. And I'll get on to the whole 
don't bullshit yourself at the end of the video. But in 2016, at some point, I do want to quit smoking cigarettes completely. So that being said, my third resolution is being happy. Now, being happy does not mean doing things that make other people happy. That's doing things that make you happy. Um, I love to hike. I love to do my nails. I love to do YouTube. I love to journal. Um, I love to watch trashy ass TV like Jerry Springer and Maury. Um, I love to sing. There's a ton of things that really make me happy. Um, that I just, not that I've lost interest in, I just haven't had time for. And if you find time to do things that truly make you happy, you will be happy. And I feel like I've been pretty out of touch with my hobbies and with myself for, like I said, the whole year's been really, like, like, it's been crazy for me. So I want, I really want to start doing more hiking. I want to do a lot more crafting, things like that. Those things make me happy. And if I'm happy, I can put out positive vibes and make everybody else happy. JK is not about that. I don't give, honestly, I'm not the kind of person where I'm like, you don't want me to do this, so I guess I won't do it. I'm like, if you don't want me to do it, then don't watch me do it. Because I'm still going to do it. As long as I'm not harming myself or putting other people in danger or something illegal, I say, do you. Um, but yeah, now let's talk about some ways to follow through your goals. We are at 6 minutes and 33 seconds, by the way. So, if you wanted to get to the meat of this video, now is the time. So... Ways that I personally follow through with my goals is I'm a very, very listy, organized person. Um, I make lists of everything. And it's so, I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm so internally satisfied by like marking, like checking, like taking things off of my day. And then at the end of the day, I can just totally chill. I can do whatever I want. I can watch my trashy TV. I can, you know, do my nails. I can go for like an evening hike. You know... It's so satisfying to like really be on track. Another great way to kind of get yourself really, you know, the motivation and also to kind of back it up, back it up. Okay. What I meant to say is another really good way to kind of keep yourself on these goals is to tell people about your goals. You know, tell people, you know, hey, say, say you're a heavy drinker, you know, just be like, okay, say you're a heavy drinker. Okay. And you go to the bar with a certain group of friends that also kind of drink a lot. And when you're with those friends, you tend to drink a lot. But one of your, you know, resolutions, if you will, is to stop drinking or not drink as much. Whenever you go to the bar with these people, you can still go to the bar with them. Still go out to do, just do what you want to do. But you, that doesn't mean you have to drink. And just tell them, hey, you know, I'm really trying to cut back on my alcohol intake. So please don't offer me a drink because I'm not going to take it tonight. And more often than not, if your friends really, truly respect you, love you, support you, and care about you, they'll be like, bro, that's cool. Like, I respect you. I get that. Like, I, I totally understand. I'm totally going to help you. Another great way to follow through with your goals is to simply do them. You know, don't say, oh, I'm going to, in my case, I'm going to lose weight and then just sit on my bed. You know, oh, I'm going to quit smoking cigarettes. Go buy a pack of cigarettes. You know, you have to go halfway. You know, it's like you have to... You have to help yourself. You know, no one's going to live for you. No one's going to make you do anything in this life. You have to do it for yourself. Don't do it to make other people happy. Don't do it to meet other people's standards. Do it because it's your standards. You're worth it. And it makes you happy. Who gives a shit what Sally down the street's doing? I don't care if Sally down the street is like, you know, that girl, Evan, she, she smokes a lot of cigarettes. She should probably quit. And I'm not over here like, oh, that girl Sally thinks I smoke a lot of cigarettes. I should probably quit. I'm like, fuck Sally. If I want to smoke, I'm going to smoke. But I'm past that. I don't want to smoke anymore. You know what I'm saying? You can't do anything unless you yourself truly want it. And that's like the whole key to this video, I feel like. You know, you have to really want to change your life or your aspect of life or whatever it is you want to do. You know, you have to really want it and go balls deep or don't go at all. Kind of a weird saying, but really, you know, go all the way in or don't do it at all. Don't half-ass yourself. You're worth more than that. You know, and that's what a lot of my personal problem is being like, Evan, you're kind of, no, girl, you're fat. Like, you need to lose some weight. Like, your son is four. You can't be like, it's baby weight. Get off your ass and go do it. You have to want to do it. 
and I want to do it and I want to help you guys want to do it. So go ahead and comment below what your personal New Year's resolutions are and we should totally be supporting each other. Let's help each other achieve our goals. Let's support each other. Let's help each other be the people that we know we can be. Until then, I wish you all lots of light, love, and blessings. This is my last video of 2015 and until the new year, I'll see you next time.